on April 23rd, 2024, we have a full moon in Scorpio. Now, your girl has a Scorpio sun and multiple other Scorpio placements. And I'm telling you right now that Scorpio energy is an energy I have come to really honor and admire and appreciate because Scorpio energy is the energy of bringing forth change that is needed, bringing up truth that is needed, and gifting you opportunities to empower yourself that are needed as well. Scorpio energy can be a very tough energy to be confronted with, but when you know that the energy is intending to bring forth the alchemist in you, the energy is intending to level you up to your higher potentials, you arrive to this destination that I have of, again, just really appreciating Scorpio energy for what it is, for what it's bringing forth, and for how it transforms you. So I'm really looking forward to sharing these eight journaling prompts directly inspired by the energetic theme surrounding this Scorpio full moon. So without further ado, let's get into these eight journaling prompts. In what ways are both creation and destruction occurring in my life? So Scorpio energy, one of the reasons why it can be tough to be confronted with is because when we are surrounded by lots of Scorpio energy, it is typically a time where we are experiencing simultaneously lots of creation and lots of destruction. Scorpio energy is an energy that reminds us of the nature of life, right? Where there is destruction, there is creation. Where there is creation, there is destruction. Where there is birth, there is death. Where there is death, there is rebirth. Where there is darkness, there is light. Where there is light, there is darkness. This duality right that exists in life that really complements one another and that makes us really come to know that one doesn't exist with, without the other so right now you may be finding yourself experiencing the energy of creation coming up in your life Perhaps you are feeling inspired to create certain things or life is bringing forth the creation of new things entering your life. And you also may be finding yourself experiencing destruction, right? The destruction of certain systems in your life, the destruction of certain thought patterns within your being, they can be internal and external creations and destructions that can be taking place. And I'm encouraging you with this prompt to really make note of what these creations and destructions are that are simultaneously occurring right now for you. What kind of fears have arised in regards to the direction of my life? This is the season of change, right? Coupled with the energy of Scorpio, the changes can feel so felt that it's bringing up some fears. And specifically in regards to the direction of which your life is headed. One of the biggest lessons that Scorpio needs to learn is the lesson of 
really not just understanding, but radically accepting that life isn't always going to go uh, according to your plan, right? Life isn't always going to unfold the way that you expected it to. And because, because Scorpio is a fixed sign and has the tendency to have a fixation on how things should be, it can make change a lot more difficult to accept and embrace and surrender to, which we're going to continue to touch on in the coming prompts. But with this specific prompt, I'm encouraging you to face the fears the concerns, the worries, the stresses that may have been coming up for you in regards to direction, to, in regards to the direction of which you are headed, right? There probably have been some changes surrounding who you are, who you're becoming, your values, what is important to you now, um, what is less important to you now, all of which impacts the direction of your life and also the direction of your focus and your attention. And there can be fears that come up surrounding this because again, we often have an idea of where we're headed and how we are going to be heading there. Scorpio is the energy of Exploring the shadow, going into the depths of the unknown, of what others tend to be of where of where others tend to be afraid to look, the Scorpio looks, right? So now is the time for us to be facing fears, for us to be confronting shadows, for us to be exploring the darkness, the unknown. So all of that said. What kind of fears have arrived, has arised, have arised in regards to, to the direction of your life? How has discomfort actually been sacred and a blessing for me? This is something that just came up for me as I was creating and writing down these prompts for us is, you know, of course, as we undergo change, especially great change, discomfort is going to be experienced, right? It is the nature of growing pains. It is the nature of expansion. It is the nature of change. Discomfort will be felt, right? But so often, we don't perceive discomfort as sacred, and we don't perceive it as a blessing. And I really want us with this prompt to adopt that perception of, you know what? Discomfort has been sacred for me and it has been a blessing. And in general, the reason why discomfort is sacred and is a blessing is because discomfort lets us know what we've outgrown, right? Discomfort lets us know where we are misaligned. Discomfort lets us know where we may be settling for less. Discomfort lets us know where something just isn't right. Something isn't clicking. Something is no longer in resonance with our frequency, with our vibration. So take a moment to meditate on this new perception that you may be adopting through the journaling of this prompt. Take a moment to really contemplate discomfort as sacred and as a blessing and describe how discomfort has been sacred for you, how it has been a blessing for you, whether recently or just in the past, perhaps something is coming up specifically for you as you contemplate this, but contemplate it. How would I describe the comfort zone I am stepping out of? How would you describe the comfort zone you are stepping out of? I don't want us to simply acknowledge the fact that we are stepping out of a comfort zone. I want us to take a moment to write down 
exactly what kind of comfort zone it is that we are stepping out of, that we are transitioning from, that we are no caller, no longer calling home. Describe this comfort zone in as much detail and specificity as possible. So let's continue to, now that we have the juices flowing in regards to change, in regards to dis, um, in regards to discomfort, in regards to the direction of our lives and the creation and destruction that has been occurring, the order of which I share these prompts is always intentional. Let's continue to ride this wave and describe the comfort zone that we are stepping out of at this time. Why and how has my surrender humbled me? The theme of surrender is one of the biggest themes that we are experiencing as individuals and as a collective at this time because this surrender that we are all really intuitively feeling called to embrace and to accept and to experience, allow ourselves to experience, this surrender is deepening our connection to the one, right? To oneness, to the most high, to the divine, um, to life, right? So it's really, really, this, this theme that has been coming up for us, increasingly so, is really significant and really beautiful and one that I'm really grateful for that all of us are experiencing. I touched on earlier how because Scorpio is a fixed sign and has the tendency to be fixated, when being confronted by surrender, it is often a surrender that can be very humbling, right? Because you realize that you don't have control. You realize that this is something you just have to accept. It's almost like you're so fixated on how things are supposed to be and how they should have gone and how things were supposed to play out. Um, and you were so stubborn and stuck on, on how you thought, how you thought things should be and should play out that the surrender feels forced. Like you feel like you're forced to surrender. You feel like you're forced to let go, to release to stop trying to take control because you'll often realize that in those moments where life is really calling on you to surrender and let go and yet you continue to try to take the reins and take control and have your hands on it and be stubborn about it and fixated about it it often ends up that that ends up having you become increasingly more misaligned. You find yourself becoming, you and your life becoming more and more out of order. Like it's harder to move through, right? So the surrender can often be just very humbling, a very humbling experience. And for those of us who have felt the surrender be very humbling, I want us to take a moment to acknowledge that, to journal about it, and to just take a moment to document it. Because when we are in these moments of a humbling surrender, it's important to remember Which normally disempowering experiences am I alchemizing into empowering ones? I believe I mentioned this earlier in the video, but one of the reasons why I've just come to honor Scorpio energy so much is because Scorpio energy is the energy of really tuning into the inner alchemist. It's the energy of 
reclaiming your power and your ability and your gift of being able to transmute darkness into light. And it is with Scorpio energy, transformative energy, that we're able to turn a normally disempowering experience into an empowering one, simply out of our own choice and our own powerful ability to do so. So I'm pretty sure that you probably at this time are experiencing something that could possibly be disempowering. Perhaps in the past it has disempowered you or in society normally what it is that you're going through is something that disempowers most people. But this is your opportunity to turn that normally disempowering experience into an empowering one. And it's really important for me to bring up the power of alchemy when discussing Scorpio energy because it's such a big part of it. And so what normally disempowering experiences are you alchemizing? Are you transmuting? Are you transforming into empowering ones? It could be one that really stands out to you where you're just, you're kind of feeling disempowered about it. You're kind of feeling discouraged about it, but you're receiving it as an opportunity to empower yourself, right? To reclaim your power, your ability to summon up the courage to transform this experience and allow this experience to transform you into a more enlightened version of you. So what are these experiences for you right now? What is this experience for you right now that is bringing out the alchemist in you? What helps me maintain a sense of stability and safety when undergoing, when undergoing great change? As we get older and we really journey through life with greater and greater conscious awareness, we grow our ability to discern what we do and don't have control of. And one of the things we do have control of is the ability to implement practices in our lives that gift us a sense of stability and safety and security when life is lifing right? We don't have to feel so unstable and so unsafe, so insecure whenever life is lifing, whenever great change is happening in our lives. We don't have to move through it with such, again, insecurity and instability and unsafety. It is possible for us to move through the changes that life brings us whether expected or unexpected, we, we do have the ability to move through it with a sense of stability, with a sense of safety, with a sense of security. And I'm really bringing forth this truth to you with this prompt because it's so important that we do know this truth. So what helps you maintain a sense of stability? a sense of safety, a sense of security when life is lifing for you, when you are undergoing great change. And if you're listening to this and you're like, well, I haven't done that. I'm still moving through change and through life with a lot of insecurity, a lot of instability, a lot of unsafety. Don't skip, don't skip this prompt just because you feel like it doesn't resonate with you in this moment or it doesn't apply to you. Allow yourself to receive it right? Allow yourself to relate to it, right? For a moment, allow yourself to embody and envision yourself, feel yourself being a version of you that does move through life and through life's expected and unexpected changes with a sense of stability, safety, and security. 
And what does that look like for you? What are, what are the things that you've noticed bring forth those senses for you? What kind of higher potentials am I opening myself up to because of my willingness to embrace change? I love this prompt so much because it acknowledges the truth that when we finally allow ourselves to embrace change, when the Scorpio energy finally allows itself to let go of the need to control, of the need to know it all, and surrender. What we are doing is opening ourselves up to our higher potentials. So acknowledge this truth. Take a moment to realize that with your willingness to change, to accept and embrace change, you are opening yourself up to new opportunities, to new beginnings, to your higher self. So Gift yourself a moment, a meditative moment to imagine here. What kind of higher potentials are you opening yourself up to because of your willingness to accept change, to go through change, to allow change to happen in your life? And that, my friends, are the eight journaling prompts for our upcoming full moon in Scorpio taking place on April 23rd, 2024. I would love to know which of these prompts really resonated with you, really moved you and your spirit and got you contemplating deeply as Scorpio energy encourages us to do. Let your girl know in the comment section below which of these prompts really resonated with you. I love creating and cultivating community in the comments, so I look forward to connecting with some of you in the comments below. And for those of you who have been tuning into your girl's journaling prompt videos for a minute now, you're probably noticing that your girl is in a different environment. So I'm going to be playing around to see, you know, what kind of environment to create for these videos. But for now, this is it. I'm so grateful to be reconnecting with you through these videos and to be offering this video to you and these prompts for us. And I pray that you're moving through whatever it is that you're moving through with grace and self-compassion, right? Um, yeah, thank you so much for being here and for bringing this video into your present moment. I am so honored and grateful and I look forward to connecting with you in the next video. Blessed Scorpio Full Moon. Bye.